Tory MP puts forward new law to strip Prince Harry and Meghan Markle of titles. Prince William wants to slim down the family even more. A royally white Christmas. The Wells family releases their Christmas card. Welcome to your In Royal News on December 11th, 2023. Let's hop into it. Prince William's drastic plans revealed. Everything will look different. Pay attention to this very carefully. From the Express, and I quote, exclusive heir to the throne is prepared to give up the Commonwealth, reduce engagements, and focus solely on the Wells family when he becomes king. The Express can report. Meaning somebody gave this to them and said, you can talk about this. Intention. Intentional. I move on. The five point plan, as it is being referred to, will slim down the monarchy even more. That means less royal engagements and patronages less formality, and an air of frugality in mind. Apparently, this also includes a wave goodbye, as the Express has noted, to Her Late Majesty Queen Elizabeth II's beloved Commonwealth. Pictured here are member states of the Commonwealth of Nations. A source who spoke directly to Express went on to say, and I quote, focusing on the United Kingdom is very much a priority for William moving forward, and there are already plans being worked on to that effect. There is a reluctance there from both William and Kate to join the tour of the Commonwealth because they feel it is an outdated institution and not something they want to head, end quote. The Commonwealth of Nations was very close to Her Late Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, playing an integral part in its continued development. You may find my opinion on this a shock, but I agree. The head of a nation needs to reflect that of the nation. And considering all of the situations regarding race surrounding the British royal family and specifically William, I couldn't imagine he being head of state for these, well, especially the black Commonwealth realms. <laughs> With the end of the Commonwealth of Nations effectively brings to close the end of the Elizabethan era. Well, her influence, so to speak. William's future does not include the Sussexes, and revealed from the source, and quote, the wider family will be reduced to almost nothing, with the Wells family becoming the main focus. We all know the Daily Mail loves to throw race jabs, a royally white Christmas, and we can't forget this article, which features this word. I'm not going to say it. However, in place of that could have been annoyance, discomfort, anxiety, but they chose to use this word, which in America you take off L-N-I-G, replace it with two other letters, boom. We know what you were trying to do. This was also the release of the Wells's Christmas card, in which, of course, the Daily Mail headlines it as, the Wells's Christmas photo is more California cool than the Norfolk peasant shoot. Always bringing Meghan and Harry into the mix for no reason. However, fans have mixed emotions about this. Some even calling it J.C. Penny. <laughs> Many comments have said, they're trying to be relatable, but still royal. It doesn't work for them. Saving the best for last, Tory MP puts forward new law to strip Prince Harry and Meghan Markle of titles. Allegedly, the cherry on top of the cupcake where the Duke and Duchess have remained silent amid the naming of the two individuals who allegedly questioned or had concerns over Prince Archie's skin color. Even though Omid Scobie has went on record stating nothing he has ever written had ever mentioned any names. Obviously, Piers Morgan was the person to mention two names, but of course, Meghan and Harry are the ones to be blamed. Always weird for them to call for the removal of titles of Harry and Meghan, never for Andrew, period. I have talked about this before, but there is actually a removal of titles bill currently going on right now, and it is to give the monarch powers to remove titles to provide that such removals can be done by the monarch on their own initiative or following a recommendation of a joint committee of parliament. This will ensure that the monarch doesn't necessarily have to go through parliament in order to have this done. Parliament wouldn't necessarily have the heat, so to speak, on doing it themselves, which if the monarch is giving it, the monarch should be able to take it. However, it is a slow process. Its first reading was way back in June of 2022. It still has to go through all of these stages in order to get royal assent. Being that it has been a year since its first reading, this is going to take a while. Do I think Charles will remove Meghan and Harry's titles? I don't think so. Do I think William might remove Harry and Meghan's titles and maybe even Archie's and Lilibet's? Well, 
And that, ladies and gentlemen, is your In Royal News for December 11th, 2023. Make sure you comment, like, please repost. Bye.